So once we've imported our model from Revit structure, along with the corresponding supports, for both the bearing walls and foundations, as well as verifying its integrity, namely, that it corresponds to the model approached in Revit. Once we've done all that, we can then begin assigning the corresponding load cases and combinations. To begin with, every time we run a calculation, the software will automatically consider the weight of the structure, or dead load. Without us needing to perform a manual calculation, of each component. What is necessary though, is to determine the next load cases, since right now, we only have available the dead load case. So, just as we have seen before in our previous courses, let's begin by opening the load types window. So let's assign this load case. But before we do that, and since it requires a certain special treatment, let's first specify the load combinations that we'll consider, at least in their basics.